Hello and welcome to my podcast for computer science. Uh, my name is Peter Needham and today we'll be discussing how computer hardware has changed the internet. Um, I work every day with computers, uh, just seeing the, the way the internet has changed throughout the years and how much power consumption it requires. Quad-core quad technology has definitely changed. Just the the way we we look at where we're going to be going with the internet, but as as we look at today, um, dual core technology and, and the way that has kind of made way for you know just the larger um, amounts of RAM, the larger amounts of um, just L2 cache, and, um, the the way that has kind of led into. You know, the more pictures you're you're seeing on a web page, the more um, videos you're you're being able to to use. It, it it really changes the way you you market online, and it it takes a lot to um, to be able to to run that. And uh, now that quad core technology is is here to to stay, and uh, you're seeing the the future going beyond that. It's uh it's got it's really cool. So. Um, some of the, the biggest things that I've seen uh, change throughout, like the marketing, especially uh, in internet marketing, uh, is the way flash technology, you're seeing more and more flash and video in your advertisements. You go to you know MySpace, you go to Facebook, you know, you're seeing advertisements pop out at you and just more, more and more of them are ones that you can hit play on. And, uh, you, can, you can change the, the volume. And, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of aspects of video and flash and, and in order to run that you, I'm, I work at Best Buy right now and all, all I see is people coming in with dial up and they're like I, I can't run this internet because it's just too slow and um, it just you're seeing that more and more people are having to update the RAM in their computers they're, up, they're having to updoor, update their actual physical motherboards because of um, you know, more and more often, just because of the, the way technology is moving so quick. Um, some of the bigger things that I've seen is like, you know, especially the last like five or six years, is uh, how banking, online banking, has uh, taken a whole new um, kind of. They've more and more banks are going from what they used to do, like in your, you know, your town banks to. Now they're they're holding huge information, large amounts of information on servers, and they're taking that to you know, your homes and your, and your computers. Um, now, the way that those servers have kind of come along, and, and, and <laughs> just the amounts of gigabytes and terabytes of information that are beyond that, um, that are being held on that, it's it's just ridiculous to even think about. It. Um, and also, in that sense of marketing, there, there's uh, you have, you know, you go into online an online banking site, and all you see is like you should sign up for this, you should sign up for that. Uh, you go to you, you know, you go to Yahoo, and you see uh, tons of. Uh, usually, it's either a bank or if it's a you know, car company. Or, you know, the ads there are usually bankers, and they're. It, that requires large amounts of, of RAM just to run that. And, um, um, the last thing that I'll talk about is online gaming is uh, kind of revolutionized. Uh, especially nowadays, quad-core technology is, is, is definitely making way for that. Uh, you're seeing online games, online servers, and online pretty much everything you can think of that was used to be that used to be only available in your house it is now available to play and you, know, you can play with people across the world uh, and most of that is happening uh, most of the games nowadays are getting more and more popular just from word of mouth so it's, it's more of a viral campaign than it is anything uh, I, you see it every day where, where I work is you're always dealing with people that are, 
or telling somebody else about this game that they found. And you should join me in this, in this, this in the gaming room and stuff like that. So um, it's it's phenomenal to think of where the internet has come from in the 90s, but now it's it's also awesome to think about where it's going and where it is. Uh, it's heading just because of the hardware technology and, and the way technology is moving so quick. Um, uh, just within the last year, the i7 processors come, have come out, and just the way you see it go from a desktop to a laptop is so quick. And now the i5s, and beyond that, and just to think that you know, soon there will be eight cores, and it's just be it blows my mind where we're going and how much we're going to be able to do. Um, so uh, that's that's pretty much what I have to say today and uh, thank you for uh, listening.